Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations given that f of x cubed plus 6x squared plus 12x equals x plus 2. And what is f of x? We have this domain as x cubed plus 6x squared plus 12x. And how can we find f of x? So it's very simple. So let's see how we can solve this. Let's say we consider the solution here. Let's look at this trend. We have this as a cubic, that is the power of 3. So this follows a particular trend. But before that, let's say we consider the Pascal triangular coefficient, which says, suppose we have 1, we are going to be using this number to determine the coefficient of some terms based on the corresponding power. If you have 1, so the next one that will come is 1, 1. The first one is the power is, is 0. This is when the power is 1. And also we have 1, 2, and 1. So this is when the power is 2. And followed by, when we have the power which is 3, so we are going to have 1, 3, 3, and 1. The power of that expression, so it's going to be 3. And this also follows when we have 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. This is when the power is 4. This continues like this. But we are going to stop here because from this given function, the domain is having the degree of 3. So which means I've gotten what I want here, which is 1, 3, 3, 1. These are the coefficient of some terms where we take the expansions. But how are we going to know that this is 3, this is 6 here, and this is 12. I'm just going to sample a random number, no. So what we do is very simple. So it's very simple. Suppose I have x plus 2, then raised to the power of 3. Here we are going to expand this. But let's say I compare this with, if I compare this with a plus b raised to the power of 3. We are going to expand this a plus b raised to power 3. When one increase, the other one decrease. And here we have the coefficients we are going to assign to them later. Here we are going to have a will be raised to power of 3. Then a will be raised to power 2 multiplied by b. Plus a will be raised to power 1 multiplied by b squared. Then a will be raised to power 0. And b will be raised to power of 3. So this is the expansion of a plus b raised to power 3. And we compare it with x plus 2 raised to the power of 3 as well. And we are going to have, here is x plus 2 raised to the power 3 equals x is a. That is, we have x raised to the power of 3 plus, also we have x raised to the power 2 multiplied by b which is 2. Plus, we have x raised to the power 1 then 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 2 raised to the power of 3. I have not introduced the coefficient. So this is just the expansion of x plus 2 raised to the power 3. Let's break this thing further. Here is x raised to the power 3 plus 2 we multiply 2x squared. That is 2x squared plus 2 raised to the power 2. That gives us 4. Then 4 times x. This is 4x plus. Then 2 raised to the power 3. That gives us 8. So we shouldn't bother ourselves that we have not gotten x cubed plus 6x squared plus 12x. So it's very simple by just introducing their coefficient. The coefficient we have is 1, 3, 3, 1. 1, 3, 3, 1. So we start multiplying this number with what we have. Then the first one becomes x raised to power 3 plus the 3 times 2, that is 6x raised to power 2 plus 4 times 3, that is 12x plus 1 times 8, that is 8. This is what we have. But looking at this, this x cubed plus 6x squared plus 12x is our domain from the function that we are given. So it is now easy for us to know how are we going to take out this plus 8. Therefore, if everything is now x plus 2 raised to the power of 3, by making x cubed plus 6x squared plus 12x only, we are going to transfer this 8 to this side. 
as we have x power of 3 plus 6x squared plus 12x then equals x plus 2 raised to power 3 then minus 8. We are now going to be replacing everything with this as the new function now becomes f of x plus 2 raised to power 3 minus 8 equals x plus 2. Then we have, and this is what we have. We are going to let x plus 2 raised to power 3 minus 8 equals y. And when we let this, the new function becomes f of y equals x plus 2. But this is x, this is y. They are not the same. We have to make x the subject of the formula from what we have in x plus 2 raised to the power 3 minus 8 equals y. So let's try and do that. By doing that, we have to transfer minus 8 to the other side. As we have x plus 2 raised to the power 3 equals y plus 8. And here is 3. We have to take the cube root of both sides. So by taking the cube root of both sides, we have the cube root of x plus 2 raised to the power 3 equals the cube root y plus 8. And whenever we have cube and cube root, they cancel. As this side remains x plus 2 equals the cube root of y plus 8. And we subtract 2 from both sides. So we're subtracting 2 from both sides, we have x plus 2 equals, here is the cube root of y plus 8 minus 2. So we put this in bracket. Also, we subtract minus 2 from here. So and that one cancelled, and we only have x, which is equals this. And if you now come back, we are going to replace x with the whole of this. We have f of y equals, instead of x plus 2, we change it to the cube root y plus 8, then minus 2 plus 2 as well. Because 2 is part of what we have. So 2 and 2 cancel. And by changing y here to x, we are going to have f of x equals the cube root of x plus 8. And this is the only solution here, as x is a member of free number. But if you want to test for the complex number as well, we can go ahead with that. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.